Hello, in this video I'm going to explain different ways of representing the position of a point in a 3D space. First, we will understand the concept of a reference system or frame, since it will be constantly used uh, to relate the position and orientation of robot links in the space. Then we will see different ways of representing the position of a point in a 3D space using Cartesian, cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Finally, we will see how to make transformations between spaces. A reference system or frame is an orthogonal coordinate system. In a 3D space we have three axes, x, y and z. The arrangement of the axes must follow the right hand rule, so the reference system is dextrorotatory. So a positive rotation is performed with the thumb pointing to the rotation axis and the fingers curled as shown. A Cartesian coordinate system is one of the most common Euclidean spaces representing a point in the space. It uses three coordinates, which are point projections with respect to each of the axes of the reference system. They are, these coordinates are known as x, y and z. Cylindrical coordinates use a polar coordinate representation system along with an additional coordinate with the projection of the point onto the z-axis, which is indeed the height. This representation is useful in problems with axial symmetry. Similarly, uh, spherical coordinates use, uh, in this case, polar coordinates to uh, uh, represent a, a distance and an angle. In this case we use two angles, one of them is the projection of a point uh, with respect to the x-y plane and the uh, 0x uh, axis, while the second angle is the point with respect to the z-axis. This representation is useful for describing 3D rotations, particularly when we use for instance uh, uh, orient uh, orientations uh, in order to point the camera into, uh, to a point or a direction. Here we show some equivalent transformations between the different representations. As I said, Cartesian coordinates are the most common representation, but in some applications it might be more advantageous to work with another representation, so this could be useful to know how to apply these transformations. Well, in this video we have seen three of the most common uh, position representations. Thank you very much.